Hi Gemini, welcome to your November New Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we're looking at new love. This can be um, somebody you know but never been romantically involved with. A missed opportunity, a crush, maybe you just met somebody, you're just starting to date them, or someone totally new coming into your life. This is not someone you've already had some sort of romantic relationship with. So uh, please do keep that in mind. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. So Gemini, if you know something shows up here, you're not interested and you're not resonating with it, totally fine. You can leave it for somebody else. It won't every time. You can check out other readings on the channel as well. But welcome in Gemini. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Gemini. So let's see what we have for you. We have release. So I do believe this is a death card. Let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. Yep, that's the yeah, that's a death card. So 13 is 4, which is foundation stability. Let's get them all out here and see. Two of Wands is definitely about a new path. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others to share your dreams. Create uh, great progress being made. Two of Wands definitely about a choice point being at a crossroads or embracing that new path and putting the old path behind us. And the Queen of Wands. Brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you maintain a balance between work and home life. So the Queen of Wands definitely is fire, passion, mojo, feeling attractive um, in our power, in our element, um, creating, manifesting, very spiritual um, energy as well. And renewal. So we do have um, judgment here and we have another two showing up. Two is about choices, uh, partnership, unities. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. So definitely judgment here is life review, relationship review. <clears throat> Healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released to make way for new, call to action. It could also be things meant to be, past life, the universe calling things into order as well. So I definitely feel like here... <clears throat> you've you know let something go you know endings and new beginnings with the death card transformation healing now feeling p empowered in your element attractive successful you know and healed released and ready to embrace a new path um and definitely could be a new love so i do feel like this is going to be about new love for you gemini so let me just cat decided to come in and swing the door open so let me just close that Block out that noise. All right. So, all right, Gemini, let's get into it here. So, I'm going to jump into the tarot and see what we need to know. All right, Gemini, new love. What does Gemini need to know? Of course, he's deciding to play. <laughs> so, if you hear that noise, his, uh, he's got a toy in the back there. So, deciding he's going to play. All right, anyway. Oh, he's going to go back out. All right. Ah, oh, continuing saga of the cat. Out he goes. All right, anyway, Gemini, let's see. We'll look at that first card. Out is soulmate alignment with the temperance card. So you definitely have an aligned new soulmate uh, contract, I feel, coming in for you. Four of Swords. There's that healing, rest, recovery. Definitely a period of healing and rest, recovery. Page of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think it's happened yet. Not with the Page of Pentacles reversed. So that is usually a solid offer, something tangible, real, a date, a coffee, a drink, or something. I just don't feel like it's happened yet. Strength. So there you are, overcoming uh, situations of the past, being strong, courageous, and brave. Um, I think you've been resisting maybe um, finding new love for a while, you know, knowing that you need to uh, heal your heart first, which is a good thing. But this also could be a strong connection that cannot be denied. Could be even maybe someone you've had past life with, uh, past lives with, because we do have that infinity symbol um, right there. So that can indicate that. And we have an emperor reverse. I definitely feel like you left behind an emperor in reverse. That was uh, probably a negative 
a force in your life. Um, definitely could have been a romantic partner or something else. Uh, but you're all the more stronger now. You know, this was a hard lesson. You know, a lot of things you had to overcome that challenged you, but it was actually for the better. And now you are actually ready for something far more better than uh, what you left behind. And it's aligning right here with the Temperance card, which is good. Patience, healing, balance, um, past life, peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. Divine alchemy, bringing soulmates together just the right time. So we've got Sag, Capricorn, Leo, Aries. So if you haven't met them yet, you know, those could be signs in your chart. Maybe you just recently met them um, or you haven't met them yet, but we'll see. <clears throat> Six of Cups can think can be things of the past. Eight of Wands, yeah, I think um, you've cut out because Eight of Wands in reverse is like no communication, not taking action on things of the past. So I'm thinking also that you are not letting the past um, trigger you anymore. So that's actually a good thing. Chariot, yeah, moving forward. Uh, success, victory, balance, traveling or moving. Nine of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. I definitely feel like you've been in an energy for a while here where you felt very vulnerable, maybe not your strongest or you're feeling as stable or grounded. But I mean, we do have the Three of Cups and the Page of Wands. Definitely courting, dating, getting to know, uh, celebrating, going out with friends, whatever the case may be. And then we have some um, good energy coming in with the Page of Wands, which could be, you know, maybe meeting someone new, flirting, um, <clears throat> Or maybe getting an invite from friends or family or whatever the case may be to go out and have some fun, socialize, which may actually, maybe you haven't done that in a very long time, which may actually be uh, a good thing for you, Gemini. All right, so let's see what else we need to know. <clears throat> Sorry for the um, clearing of the throat and stuff. I still got, you know, a little bit of that. You know, I had Corona and I still have it lingering and it just won't leave. And sometimes I'm still very exhausted at night and that's why you haven't seen a lot of readings lately but let's see anyway gemini so let's see <clears throat> let's see what else do i need to know high priestess following intuition higher knowing hangman in reverse which is about getting up taking action it's definitely been a pause uh pause for enlightenment healing um kind of energy before getting up taking action five of cups nine of swords you may be a little nervous or stressed out about getting yourself out there again to find new love but we do have six of wands here success victory there's an offer on the uh, wand there with the wreath so you may be you know i feel like you're letting the past go definitely here because I see that hangman as getting up and, okay, I'm not letting the past define me, keep me down, keep me sad, you know, stressed out. Nine of Swords energy here. Strength does overcome anything in this deck. So if you've been through that already, I feel like you're definitely moving on from that successfully here. Um, also, I feel like you have a new successful kind of connection coming in for you. You may not have met them yet because the High Priestess can speak of things we haven't uh, experienced yet. It's like the secret of life, the secret of the universe, but it's also our intuition, higher knowing. But let's see, we got two cards of Pisces here. All right, let's see what's on the pond. Oh, there you are, Gemini with the King of Swords. King, Queen, don't matter. The King for me is Gemini. So there you are, Five of Swords. So I feel like you've definitely been betrayed in the past. A lot of wrong, wrongdoing here, but I feel like once you get yourself out there, You know, sorry, I had to pause to cough a little bit. Um, courting, dating, getting to know, celebrating. Here's someone stable, grounded, King of Pentacles energy. Could be a business owner, um, something like that. Uh, yeah, I think you definitely have moved away from confusion, illusion, things that um, you didn't understand that you were trying to understand. It could have been about the past. And you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm just tired of ruminating in that energy. I just need to keep moving forward and leave this behind me, which I do believe you've been doing here. But I think the King of Pentacles here is a good, stable, grounded energy coming in for you uh, once you get yourself back out there again. All right. So let's see, Gemini, what else do we need? Tell me more about this new person. Over here, we also have Scorpio, Aries, and uh, Scorpio again. We've got two cards of Scorpio. All right. 
let's see. So I want to know more about this new person. I kind of feel like you're going to meet them once you start socializing again, maybe going out with friends again. You know, maybe you haven't done that in a very long time because you felt like you weren't ready. Or you just sometimes you're like, I just don't feel like, you know, I want to do that. But now it's like, you know, I feel like I'm ready. Ten of Wands. Definitely you've been through a lot of burdens here. Eight of Pentacles. So you work hard to reestablish yourself. There's a Seven of Cups coming in again. King of Pentacles showing up again. So it could be an Earth sign. And there's the Judgment card again with Karma. So I'm not feeling like this is bad. This could actually be... Um, I'm feeling like, you know, you worked hard to release these burdens, these things that weighing you down. But I also feel like you have a very good karmic um, connection coming in for you. Definitely with the King of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So I definitely feel like you could be feeling that state, little state of confusion, you know, about, like I said, moving, getting out there. What kind of person am I going to meet? What's it going to be like? I feel like a very good, like I said, karmic connection. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles, very loyal, trustworthy, honest, uh, dedicated, um, practical, wise, smart. Could work in finances, could also um, be a business owner, entrepreneur, something like that. Also could be very wealthy, sane. <clears throat> and it's kind of something meant to be here with the uh, Judgment card. So let's see, we have a Scorpio again, Virgo. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, look at that, the Two of Cups. There's the Soulmate Connection. Three of Wands. This could be happening like any time now. The Three of Wands reversed. Two of Swords, but it's up uh, probably all about uh, a decision that you make. Eight of Cups and the Sun. So this is like, you know, something is going to happen for you, but it's up to you to face it and go through with it. Then to walk away and say, no, I just don't think I'm ready yet. Or, well, I don't mean it that way. Like, maybe scared at the last minute. Like, you get an invite to go out with friends or go dancing or go for a drink or whatever the case may be. And you're like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then the time comes and you're like, no, I changed my mind. And what you're going to do is avoid... A lot of happiness that could come in for you with the sun energy here so i would say don't back down on an invitation definitely here i keep getting that yeah eight of wands reverse could be that backing down but the two of wands is about like i said over here is choosing that path ahead fearlessly and not backing down from um maybe an invitation or something like that because you do have the two of cups here just saying all right <clears throat> all right let's see gemini what else do we need to know? So tell me more <clears throat> about this new connection with this person. What else do we need to know for Gemini? See, we are in Scorpio season. We have a few more days, and we have a lot of Scorpios showing up here. So, I mean, you could meet them anytime. Three of Pentacles, growth, expansion. Nine of Pentacles, reversed. Death, death showing up again. Nine of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment. Ten of Cups, nine and ten of Cups. So I definitely feel like here, um, we do have a lot of growth and expansion here. I definitely feel like you have moved on from feeling in insufficient, um, <clears throat> not stable or grounded enough or abundant enough or worthy enough. I definitely feel like you've healed and transformed through those energies. And this is about endings and new beginnings through that. And then you have the nine in the ten of cups. So this is definitely, there's a single energy, you know, of going out, having fun. Because you see there are kind of an establishment here, having food, drink, whatever. And the end result in the long run is ten of cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. You may have kids, they may have kids. There could be blendings of families down the road as well. <clears throat> now if you subtract the nine from the ten, you do get the ace of cups, which is that brand new beginning in love here. So I do feel like you're going to meet this person um, by getting out there, socializing, going out to eat with friends or drink, go for a drink or just going out and having some fun. It could be, you know, it could be any time. Maybe you just met them over this past weekend. I am recording this on the 18th. Actually, you'll be going out today. So maybe you got some plans for this weekend. Let's see, we do have Scorpio showing up again, like I said. Four Pentacles. Definitely there's been an energy of protection and holding back because of heartache, pain, sorrow, disappointment. 
but the Wheel of Fortune is here to say better things to come. Fate, destiny, uh, moving in the right direction, positive movement forward, abundance, growth, expansion, the star, and the six of swords. So this is like moving on from that energy of feeling unfulfilled. It's like, you know what, I'm not going to get my fulfillment just by staying home doing nothing and not putting myself back out there. Of course, you can find fulfillment, happiness, and joy in your own energy, you know, before you invite something new in. But I kind of feel like you've done that already. But the star reverse is like, you know, I'm feeling kind of blah. I don't really feel like anything good is happening. You know, my dreams, wishes are just kind of stagnant. Nothing's happening, but it requires getting out there, taking action, and moving forward. And like I said, there's that socializing, courting, dating, getting to know, going out with friends, family, whatever the case may be. And again, that moving forward with the chariot keeps showing up here. Something is faded. We do have that wheel. All right, Gemini. So let's get one more row here and see what else we need to know. What else do we need to... It's like some three pentacles here. Something definitely in the works. All right. Three pentacles definitely is like rebuilding, building... Learning something new, growth, expansion, learning something new and mastering it. So I definitely feel like you've mastered your way through uh, a lot of your past situations. Strength, I mean, like I said, overcomes anything. And the first card out was temperance, you know, soulmate alignment. All right, let's see what we got here. Seven of Wands reverse, about letting down our guard, our walls. Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely a new opportunity here, but it's going to take letting down our walls, our guard, to bring it in. Being open and vulnerable. For courting, dating, getting to know, romantic gestures, romance happening here with the Knight of Cups. More Scorpio energy. Seven of Pentacles. So no more stalemating. No more just sitting around and feeling kind of blah and over-assessing, analyzing. It, you know, it's time to stop that. Eight of Wands reverse again is about non action. So I feel like, and we've got the Seven and the Eight of Wands, and they're both in reverse. The Seven of Wands, though, is about letting down our guard, letting down our walls. Eight of Wands, though, is about not taking action. But the Seven of Pentacles reverse is about kind of no more stalemating, no more over assessing or analyzing. Knight of Cups following intuition, higher knowing, and moving forward and letting that guide us into peace, harmony, love, and light. Let's see what the next card out. Yeah, High Priest. Reverse. So definitely you could be afraid of um, being fooled again. But again, there's that wheel again. So something is fate and destiny here. Divine timing, things meant to be. Tower, big shift, shock, change could be happening right now. Definitely a lot different than your past. And look at that. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. There's that Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. I don't think this is anything from the past. I think it took you a long time to move on from past situations that hurt you deeply so that's why you're in a lot of self-protection mode um page of swords page of cups so you could meet somebody you know and then you exchange you know information and maybe connect on social media and maybe connect that way for a little bit and then we kind of have love blossoming here with the page of cups as well and the empress so someone's going to know your value and worth you knowing your value and worth. And this is the birthing of some new energy as well. Did we have, yeah, we have the emperor and the empress. So one's reverse, one's upright. So definitely two people that uh, need to meet, get to know each other. Um, so you can be both in the same energy as well. So we do have Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio here. All right. So I do feel like, you know, get yourself out there, Gemini, because something's just waiting to happen. All right, so let's see what this deck has to offer. If this did resonate or you enjoyed this, Gemini, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly, truly appreciated, and I thank you. Everything you need is below. Also, I have another channel. It's all Leo. So if you have heavy Leo in your chart, you want to cross-watch for Leo, or have any Leo friends, please do let them know. Link is below. All right. My gosh. All right, Gemini. So let's see what this deck has to offer. What else do we need to know? Gemini, new love protection. Yo, did I not say that through this whole reading? Um, <clears throat> I thought we had the four of pentacles here. Or maybe it was under the uh, bottom of the deck a couple times. But here, you, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So yeah, you are in self-protection mode, but you're also being protected by, you know, your spirit team, the universe. Treasure chest, unforeseen one fall of new when it comes to you now. Yeah, so 
you know, it's unforeseen because you haven't seen it yet. And I kept seeing, uh, saying that. But there is abundance coming in for you. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So, yeah, there's a divine connection here. Um, just waiting to happen. And empowerment. You, you're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So definitely uh, you're more empowered now. And it's a yes as well. So there you go. And healing heart. So I definitely, I feel like you've healed a lot here. It's a yes. More empowered than you've ever been. Because you moved on. Time to move on. And it's ready, set, go time. That is for sure. All right, Gemini. So that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.